Today I will tell you and show you how to upgrade HDD to SSD drive without reinstalling Windows. Hmm, quite interesting, yep. And you know what? It is completely free because we're going to use open source software. This genius. In order to get started, you need to have a SATA adapter. Link to buy one I will leave in the video description. To be honest, all the process is very easy. You just need to repeat after me. So, let's get started. Here you may see Lenovo ThinkPad L430 laptop and at the moment it has an HDD drive. I will show you. Oop. So, what I'm going to do next? I'm going to show you how to upgrade to SSD drive without reinstalling Windows. Now I'm going to turn on the laptop and we will proceed to the next stage. Okay guys, we are in the Windows 10, also it will work good for Windows 8.1, Windows 11 and even for Windows 7. Now we need to open browser, in my case I will open Google Chrome browser. Here you need to type next, disk genius dot com and press enter. So we are on this genius official website. From this website, we can download this software. It is open source software. I made several videos where I showed how to create a portable operating system for your USB stick using this genius. So after that, we need to click here, free download. Just wait a sec and as you can see, downloading process begin. So now we just need to wait and then we will be able to run this software. I successfully download this genius on my laptop, so now we can install it, click on it. I will select English, OK, accept with all the terms, click next. And I will install it especially on my D drive, local disk D, I will select programs and click OK. Actually that's all, we just need to wait. Cool, so we successfully installed this genius on my laptop, I will click finish and close the browser. Now please pay attention because this is very important moment. As you can see this is my SSD drive and now we need to connect SSD drive to SATA adapter. So I will connect it. Good, and after that we need to connect it to the laptop. Perfect, now we can launch this genius. Click on it. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. Here you need to find OS migration. Click on it. Please pay attention and take your time. Here you need to select the main operating system of your HDD drive. Current operating system, local disk C. Click OK. Then you need to select your SSD drive. Actually, this SSD drive has 128 gigabytes, but we see less than 120 gigabytes, but that's normal. Click OK. I want to warn you, all information from your SSD drive will be deleted and click OK. One more time, please pay attention. As you can see, this is the current operating system, HDD drive, and this is SSD drive. In my case, I want to migrate an operating system with all files and programs. And yes, that's possible. Also, I want to show you one interesting thing. I will go to the properties, device manager. If you take a close look, you may see that I installed all the drivers. And that's mean after we will migrate an operating system to SSD drive, we will not be forced to one more time install every single driver. And definitely, that's a great news. Now I will close this window. In this window, you may see local disk C and local disk D. This is partitions of HDD drive. I want to show you a very important thing. Click on local disk D. And as you can see, I have some programs. OBC Studio and this genius. So what I'm going to do next, I want to migrate all of these programs on SSD drive. And for this, we need to migrate partition, partition D. I will close this window. As you can see, we successfully can migrate operating system to SSD drive, but also we need to migrate the partition here. And for this, we need to click on manage partitions, then select add partition and select the partition. Click OK. Nice. Click here. In this case, we successfully add the partition to SSD drive. That's mean we will migrate an operating system with all files on C drive and D drive. 
Also, I want to show you one useful tip to allocate space for C drive and D drive. It all depends on you. You need to click here in the middle and you can decide how many space you want to allocate for C drive and D drive. In my case, I allocated 70.5 gigabytes for C drive and almost 50 gigabytes for D drive. Of course, it is necessary to know how much space files takes on C drive and D drive. For this, you can go to this PC, click on the right mouse button, select properties, and as you can see, it takes 26.5 gigabytes of space. And if we click on local disk D, one more time click on properties and it takes up 528 megabytes. That's mean this space will be more than enough for C and D drive. As you can see at the moment, I stopped using screen recording program because we need to save all information at this moment on SSD drive. Then you need to click on start. One more time, I want to warn you that all information will be deleted from SSD drive, not from HDD drive, but from SSD drive. Click OK. Then you need to select hot migration. Actually, that's all. Now you just need to wait until Windows will be migrated on SSD drive. One more time, I want to remind you that you can use this method even if you want to migrate Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 10, and even Windows 11. It will work as well. We successfully cloned Windows 10 to SSD, but before removing SSD drive, we need to click here, find this USB icon. In my case, I need to select external disk 3.0. And now we can remove our drive. After a whole this process, you just need to install your SSD drive into the laptop or PC. As you can see, this is HDD drive, and actually, we have the same operating system with all files and program on this SSD drive. So we can remove HDD drive and gently install SSD drive. And of course, now I will turn on the laptop. So fellas, we are in the Windows 10 and as a final result, we succeed. As you can see, we have a C and D drive. If we click on the D drive, we have the same programs, OBC Studio and Disk Genius. If you want to clone your SSD or HDD drive, definitely I recommend to use Disk Genius. It's quite useful and convenient open source software. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And I recommend watching video how to create a portable operating system for your USB drive.